Well, the cost of housing in the U.S. is getting out of reach for many Americans, but some groups are trying to do something about it. Channel 3's Jane King is at the NASDAQ now with that story in today's Good Friday report. I hope you have a good report for us too, Jane. The slice of the American dream, home ownership, is disappearing for many Americans. Record low interest rates sent millions of people in search of a cheap mortgage, but that also drove up the cost of a home with so much demand. Now, builders can't keep up, and their costs are going up, too. Lumber recently hit a record high. Cement, labor, all of that is going up, making a home out of reach for many. Former congressional representative and housing advocate Kwanzaa Hall says the problem is getting worse. Over the next 10 years, there's a need for 4.6 million new units. Mm. The problem is we're only creating about 250,000 a year, so we really need another 250,000, 500,000 a year needs to be created. Expensive housing has left millions with no choice but to rent, and that demand has sent rental prices up as well. Now, groups like Homes Global are trying to find a solution. Lakshmi Naranian is an investor in Homes Global, which builds affordable housing communities. He believes housing is a right. It's a basic requirement. Housing, the shelter, clothing, food, mm -hmm. plays an important role. And, and, and we want to help people to fulfill their aspiration. Internet searches for phrases like rent increases and affordable houses hit new highs in March, according to Google Trends. Home ownership is a key component of wealth, making up about 30 percent of the average homeowner's net worth. This is creating a ripple effect immediately in the community. Mm -hmm. Local schools are going to be, you know, filling up. Restaurants will open. Retail outlets you know, uh, entertainment centers. Ozillo believes it will take some time for first-time home buyers to be able to enter the market in big numbers, maybe as long as two years before the supply is back up to pre-pandemic levels. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. All right, thanks, Jane. It's